Yo, what up guys? Mike here with Laker Talk, back with another video. Let's talk D'Angelo Russell and the Lakers. D'Angelo Russell is my favorite topic because it is the elephant in the room. It's the, it's the most heated discussion every time I, I mention D'Angelo Russell, and I love it. Um, shout out to all of you on Twitter who I talk with, back and forth with, and things like that, and, and we are sort of debating. Here's the thing about D'Angelo Russell. The reason why, if, I, if this was like a radio show and I was getting paid for this, which someday I might, who knows? Um, I'd be talking about the most interesting topic of that period. Right now, it's D'Angelo Russell. Why? Because Laker Nations was split, okay? Come draft night, half of us thought we were going to get Jaleel Okafor. The other half wanted D'Angelo Russell. Lakers picked D'Angelo Russell. The other half is like, what? So we're watching D'Angelo Russell. And we're criticizing him based on the fact that we didn't want him to begin with, okay? I fall into that category. I'm guilty of that. Uh, I have strong opinions. I've come, come out in my first video calling him a bust. He proved me wrong in that sense that he's not a bust. And he may continue to prove me wrong, but I have certain opinions um, that I'm going to state. And um, it is what it is. Think of it as like barbershop talk, right? I actually like debating folks. I don't want to agree with every Laker fan. That's just boring, okay? Um, that's the reason why I started this vlog, is to kind of share my opinions and, and just talk Laker stuff. You know, I'm not going to troll people and just kind of diss on D'Angelo Russell all the time, but I'm going to state my opinion when I see him. He's playing well here and there, but a lot of people on Twitter throws out the term superstar. He has superstar potential. No. I don't see superstar potential in D'Angelo Russell. He has superstar moments. A lot of people have superstar moments. Um, Kyle Lowry for the Toronto Raptors point guard have superstar moments, but he's not a superstar. All right, there's a lot of all-stars in the league that have superstar moments um, and qualities, but they're not superstars. My standard of a superstar is very high. Like, it's somebody that has that it factor. The, the obvious ones, LeBron, Kobe, Steph Curry, uh, Durant. Um, now, someone who has become a superstar over the last year or so, or a few years, he's been rising as becoming a superstar, is, is, is Russell Westbrook, right? He is obviously a superstar now. Um, James Harden, superstar. These are guys who are nationally known as the best player in the league. Okay, do I see D'Angelo Russell as being that? I don't know. He's he, I, he has all star potential, not superstar potential. Like Derrick Rose, right? Now here's the thing: there are players in the league that could be, that have superstar potential. They become superstars, but then they fall out of that superstar status. Like a Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose, hands down, was a bona fide superstar. But with his knee injuries, he is now dwindling out of that status, in my opinion. Um, Grant Hill was a bona fide superstar early on in his career. And then until he got um, all his ankle injuries, which kind of... So there are different levels of superstardom, if you will. This is a very subjective uh, um, conversation, by the way. Don't get all butthurt over this. This is just something you talk about in a barbershop. And it's not something that you can truly truly pinpoint because everybody has different standards of what a superstar is to them all right so just keep that in mind but like uh, okay Kyrie Irving he is he was he was a rising superstar he got hurt and it's kind of like he, it's on his his superstar status is on hold in my opinion but he is there he is he was a dominant point guard uh dominated the all-star game uh can can put up 35 points here and there. We we expect him to put up 20 over 25, you know, 20 points a game every single night to carry his team. This is pre him injuries and pre LeBron James. He was a stud, right? Got national like commercials, got his own shoe. He is there. If he once he gets healthy again and he he has a really good year, he's going to be back into that superstar status in the sense that he is a superstar. He is somebody that you would look at when he's fully healthy and say I'm going to start, my, I would step, definitely start my team by picking him. He is not the last guy that you would pick or a middle guy. He is one of the guys that you wouldn't want to pick. He's a, he's a, um, 
from dominant, young, fast, quick, athletic, skilled point guard, right? That shows superstar qualities each and every night. Now, a superstar is somebody that you're going to count on to be great every single night, okay? Steph Curry, when he, if, he average, if he puts up 15 points tomorrow night when he plays or, whatever, when we play, or when he plays the Lakers, everybody's going to be like, what the heck happened to him? Right? You expect him to put up 25, 28, 29, etc. He might even go for 40. But um, that's pretty much what a superstar is. Somebody you just count on to be great every single night. Does D'Angelo Russell have that? I think he's going to be, be good on certain nights. And then some nights he's going he's gonna to not be so good. You know, he's a shooter. He is going to, his shot is not going to fall sometimes. And his shot is going to fall. On the nights when his shot is falling, he's going to look good. He's going to put up 25 points, 20 points here and there. Um, but some nights he's not. He's going to put up 13, 14 points. And uh, that's just the reality. He doesn't have... He doesn't have certain athletic intangibles that would, would propel him into a superstar status, in my opinion. He has good enough skills to be an all-star, and that means he's better than pretty much everybody else in the world, like millions and billions of people. And no knock on D'Angelo Russell, but I don't see superstar status in him. And I'm going to say this also. I don't see superstar status in Jaleel Okafor. I see all-star potential in him. So in both of those, in D'Angelo Russell and... Jaleel Okafor, I see all-star potential. I don't see superstar potential in any of those guys. My opinion, like I said in my other video, D'Angelo Russell is a, a slight, he can be slightly better than Nick Van Exel. And just keep this in mind, he is not at Nick Van Exel's level yet. Okay, he can get there. Um, but with a little asterisk, Nick Van Exel spent two years at Cincinnati. He was a little older when he came into the league. D'Angelo Russell is still young, but that's what that's the type of player I see D'Angelo Russell is. He can be he can be a little bit better than Nick Van Exel. He has that potential, in my opinion. But that's the type of person he is. He's a, he's a shooter, um, crafty left-handed guard. You know, not super 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 athletic. Nick Van Exel wasn't super super athletic, but he was he was. He was athletic, yeah. He he was a better driver and things like that. But um, that's just my thing. It, it sounds like I'm knocking D'Angelo Russell, but I'm really not. He is great, but I'm just gonna state my opinion when I see it. Um, a lot of folks on Twitter uh, use throwing out the term superstar and stuff like that, and we go back and forth and we bicker. Shout out to uh, all of you guys on Twitter who who uh, debate me all the time. Uh, um, Cats I, I spoke to, Cool Cats, uh, Lakers Legacy Podcast. Shout out to you guys. I'll link to you. Um, follow them on uh, Twitter and check out their podcast. They're two guys. I don't know their names, but they uh, kind of alluded to one of my arguments in their podcast, and uh, I like that. And we were kind of going back and forth, and, and we, uh, we, we challenged each other a lot. I like that. So shout out to those guys, and shout out to anybody who uh, challenged me on Twitter or YouTube, shout out to you for watching my videos. Check out the, um, or follow me on Twitter at Mike Sports LA, and uh, more videos to come. I'm gonna have another video. I'm gonna be talking about D'Angelo Russell a lot, but I'm not bashing him, but that's just my, my opinion. Um, another conversation that I'm gonna have is, people are trying to compare D'Angelo Russell to James Harden. He is nothing like a James Harden other than being left-handed. Outside of that, no. James Harden is far beyond at a level that I don't think D'Angelo Russell could ever get to. All right, with his his patented moves, step back moves, uh, driving capabilities, one two step into the you know lane, drawing the fouls. I don't see D'Angelo Russell getting there, but I'm going to talk about that in another video and explain in detail what I mean. Hit me up on Twitter, Mike Sports LA, and uh, leave me some comments on what you think, what your opinions are of D'Angelo Russell. Does he have superstar? Uh, status or potential, hit me up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll talk soon. Peace.